Hey guys, Ocarina here here again. Today we are unboxing Elik, the pink version, by Energize Lab. But I think it's pronounced Eilik. Because the E and the I make an I sound. So I've been calling it Elik. But I think technically it's pronounced Eilik. Like uh, like the singer, um Billy Eilish. So that's an E I, so you say Eilish. So like this would be Elik. There you go, little surprise English lesson for everybody. Um, a little desktop companion bot with endless fun for ages 12 plus. Get to know Elik. One more Elik, way more. The more of them you have, I think the more things they do. You can connect them all together. There's a little magnetic strip on the side and you can put them, you can put lots of them together. To know more. Um, desktop. Please put Elik on the desktop in normal use. Press the button for at least three seconds to turn on and off. Um, Elik has touch sensors covered on the touch sensors covered on the top and the belly. Elik is also has a touch sensor on his back. Explore various interactions and modes with three touch sensors. There is a vibration sensor in Elix's head. Thus, I can't quite see. It's not very clear writing on here. Thus, he will feel dazed when you hit him on the head. Apparently, well, I'm not sure why we would do that, but someone might, I suppose. Again, this one, this is the pink version, the fairly new one, but there's also a blue version, which has been out a while. Fairly cute. Looks an awful lot like Eve from Wally, from the Disney film. So we take the little screen protector off and stick it somewhere on the box. Uh, and what do we have? A little package of things that says in the box there's a user manual. The USB-C cable, little snack items, some magnets to stick the snack items to Elix's hand, some double-sided tape, and that tells you how to use them with the tape and the magnets to get them to stick. So, user manual, I think it's fairly straightforward to set up. USB cable, some tiny, tiny little magnets and some double-sided tape and the food items. There's like a cup, a cup with a little cat on it, like a coffee cup. There's a, I don't know, it's like a pastry item or something. There's a drinks bottle. And what is that, a sandwich? Something like that, hot dog maybe? I think you get different items. It's just, it's just a random selection of food items. That's a cake, there's a cake in there as well. Right, let's see if we can turn it on. Should be. The button's there. Ooh, there we go, coming to life. Very grumpy, I don't know why. Very angry. Why are we so angry? Right. Okay, what happens if you bop it on the head like it says? It's probably going to get really angry, is it? Okay. Right, we can bring the menus up. Apparently if you press the button. Heart, what does a heart mean? Get their instructions and we'll have a look at what the menus mean. Heart mode, default. Left or right. Ooh, what's that? Left or right. 
Uh, that must be a game. Left. Or right. Left. Do we? Ah, uh -huh, I think we win that one. So the good thing about Eilic or Elik, whoever you want, however you want to pronounce it, there's no app required. They update them quite regularly. You have to plug them into a computer with a USB cable to update them. But otherwise, everything, you know, it's out the box. It's, it's working out the box. There's no app. There's no setup, really. Everything's there. So to interact, huh, let's do a different game now. Beat. So that should respond to music, I think, now. Dance to beat. stop it like that so it says you can pet him on the head oh no hold on maybe we're still in right this is back to default so we should be able to pet him on the head there you go much happier now you can tickle their belly oh no that doesn't seem to be getting a response at the moment um, maybe I wasn't doing it in the right place. <laughs> you can rub their back, apparently. <laughs> oh, it doesn't seem to like that. <laughs> you can hit them in the head. I don't know why you'd want to do that. That doesn't seem very friendly, but... Didn't like that. Yeah, well, maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we should be nice to it then. Uh, it's not happy now. Um, take off the ground and then keep petting the head to calm them down. So if you pick them up, they obviously know that they're off the ground. And to calm them down, you should pet their head, apparently. It does not like being picked up. So why don't we put you back on the ground? <clears throat> uh do we have games we've done guess left or right we've done dance to the beat talking toy I don't know how that works let's try how do you do how are you Got to tap the button first, haven't you? Silly. How are you? Hello. My name's Eilek. <laughs> well, that's quite fun. And it changes your voice to a silly robot voice. We have Monster Shooter. Select weapon. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, aim and shoot. How do we aim?
That's quite a cool name. Uh, fishing game, what else do we have? Fishing game, cast a fishing rod, wait for a twitching boy. That means a fish is hooked. When the boy shifts to the right, twist Elix's body to the left and vice versa. All right, select the game. So it looks like you tap him on the head to cast the rod. So you've got to turn the body the opposite direction to where the little float goes. boy in the middle apparently until the fish is exhausted. Oh, I think I might have broke the fishing rod. Let's try once more. Right, casted the rod. It's raining now apparently. Right, so we're trying to keep the boy in the middle. Well, we're not, we caught a fish that time. That seemed much, oh there he's not very happy with that. Okay, what else do we have? Puppet toy. Shooting, fishing, puppet toy. Rotate the head or hands to pose. Tap the head to switch expression groups. Touch the belly for the next expression. I understand what that one's supposed to do. Or you just uh, maybe you're just posing him for a photo, I suppose. Could also do a countdown timer. Well, we just let him dance for a minute because that's obviously the best the best one. Oh, I think I stopped in there. sat here doing nothing. I'm trying to set up the, the little food items and the magnets to see what we can do with them. Right, stop. There we go. Let's see if we can get... Uh, put you back into normal. throwing that coffee cup around. I don't know if they stick to the other side or not. They do stick to the other side. Perhaps we'll get something else on the other side while I'm doing that. So you've got these little magnets to stick the food items and some double-sided tape. Which is a little bit fiddly to put on, but once you've done it, I presume they'll just stay on there.
Right, well, let's just put it on the piece of cake. There you go. Oh, let's step outside. Oh, they will also stick to the base, apparently. Let me take the coffee cup off and we'll put the cake in that hand. Bit fiddly. Well, the cup stood put, stayed put really well, but this one's not staying put quite so well. Well, there's all the food items anyway. We'll put um, put the magnets on them another time. But yeah, there's the drinks bottle. You get these little magnets and you get these little double-sided sticky things. And they seem to be... I think Energize Lab seem to update them quite regularly, so there'll be lots of updates and more things that Elit can do, or Ilit then if we're calling, depending on what you want to call it. You seem to like that. Right, I'm going to end the video here, but I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and there'll be lots more videos from Elik on the way. See you soon.